Okay, time to talk business cards and setup for your next uh, mini project here. Here's what a standard business card looks like. They all come in a, in a, uh, a standard size, which is three and a half wide and two inches tall. That's the normal business card size. Um, yours is required to have a logo, so you'll use your logo from your logo design project in Illustrator. Um, there's always uh, the person's name and title typically, address, phone numbers, email, and possibly a website. So you can just make up some of that information um, and just figure out how you want to lay out your card. It's a good idea to stay away from the edges. Leave, um, in this case I have a quarter inch of space around the sides here. Um, and you'll notice the text sizes uh, doesn't get anything over 11. And that's actually pretty big for a business card. You don't want to have very large text because you got to fit a lot of information onto this tiny little card here. So you can do it a couple ways. You can set it up in InDesign on a single document, or you can just create it all on the final layout page. Uh, you can also make it in Illustrator, but the key thing is to make sure the specific size is correct. When you're ready to set up the uh, final document, you're going to make it 8.5 by 11. Uh, you're going to break this link so that you can change your top and bottom, make sure facing pages is unchecked, and left and right margins uh, independently because your left and right margins will stay at, will actually increase to 0.75. The top and bottom stay at 0.5 and that will let you fit 10 business cards perfectly. I will also usually do a column in the middle to split up the two cards instead of doing a guide there. So that's how you want to have it set up. Click OK. You notice I have two columns now. Uh, one nice feature in InDesign is with the ruler, you can reset that ruler to any point. I know my business cards are two inches tall, so I want to reset my card, my rulers, so that the zeros are right here at the corner of my margins. So I have a zero here now, zero here. I should be able to fit 10 cards perfectly in these margins. My cards are all two inches tall, so I'm going to drop guides at my two inch marks. And now I should have a space for 10 equally sized business cards, three and a half by two. If yours do not look like the same size, you probably do not have your guides in the right spot. Um, and the key part about this is you're going to print this on cardstock and then cut them down. So if you don't have it laid out correctly, it's not going to show up right. So just like um, placing images in from Photoshop, you can place designs in from in, from uh, Illustrator as well. So any logo or vector art that you make in, in <coughs> excuse me, in InDesign, you can or in Illustrator you can bring in here just like as an in InDesign. Uh, one thing you may notice when you place stuff in InDesign, you'll see it looks kind of fuzzy. You can always right click and change your display performance to high quality, and there's also some options to do that in your preferences as well. Um, so you want to get your logo size to the size you want it to be for your your card. Again, leave some space around the sides. I'm going to take this information over and just place it in here. Um, alignment and things of that nature are pretty important for these cards, so make sure that you have everything looking how you want it to look. And you want to just get one in place and then get ready to go cut it. Here's a little trick when you go to copy these, though. So what I usually do is I'll make a, um, an empty box with no stroke or anything that kind of is the exact same size that I need it to be, 3.5 by 2. And that way I can group all of these objects together and I know everything's in the right place and when I drop it and copy it over to another spot it'll fit perfectly so you can do it a couple ways you can copy it individually or another nice little trick is if you select your objects there is a step and repeat option in InDesign and I have these two items right here I know I need four more and I'm gonna vertically offset these by two inches because my um, cards are all two inches tall. I hit OK and it will copy those exactly two inches apart below me. Should be one more. I don't know why I didn't copy there. Okay, let's copy one more. Okay. 
So now you have 10 cards laid out how they should be for a business card. And I can print these on cardstock and trim them down and they should all look like a professional business card. So good luck with that one.